All right, so this is a really important question. Um, and it's something I cover with every one of my clients. And the reason I do this is because virtually no one gets formal education in what hypnosis is. Nobody gets this in high school. Doctors don't get this. Psychologists don't get this. And yet at the same time, you and I live in a culture that's awash in the words hypnosis, hypnotize, and mesmerize. You can find this language in the lyrics of popular songs. You can find it in comic books, in movies, television, the state and county fair. Newscasters will throw around this language. Politicians will throw around this language. And in that paradigm, what is really presented in that comic book paradigm is one person, the hypnotist, uh, is in control of the other person, the subject, and the subject's in a catatonic sleep-like state. They do whatever they're told, and they don't remember anything. And you know, is that is are those phenomena possible? Yeah, they are. But in a group of say 150 people, a stage hypnotist, which operates in that realm, is looking for say one or two people that can actually get to that level. The average person is not going to get to that level um, unless they've been conditioned for a long period of time but everyone goes into hypnosis. They just don't know that's what it's called or that's what they're experiencing. So everyone who's ever driven a car, I would suggest, has had the experience of driving their car along, they're thinking about something in their life, they pull into their driveway and they can't remember driving the last 10 or 15 miles. That's a hypnotic experience. Every athlete has gotten a minor injury where they're playing their sport, two days later they're in the shower and they look at their leg and they go, oh, where did I get that large bruise? I guess I got it playing soccer two days ago. These are all hypnotic experiences. A third one that people might relate to is watching television. When they watch television, they tend to kind of focus in on a flickering image at a fixed distance and other things start to fade away. In common language, they talk about wanting to veg out in front of the TV. They talk about wanting to zone out in front of the TV. And while they're zoned out in front of the TV, someone may call their name and they can't, they don't respond to that, to that, to that name the first time, the second time, finally the third time they kind of break out of something, a trance, and say, oh, what? What was it? And the other person gets angry because they think they were being ignored. The way to think about this is that when you're in a beta state of waking consciousness, where you and I are right now, there's kind of a large aperture of awareness, like looking through a huge Palladian glass window. There's a lot you can see out there. When you go into hypnosis, it's like looking through the diameter of a straw. You're so hyper-focused on whatever it is that you're thinking about, that for that moment, it's like everything else outside that tiny diameter of the straw doesn't exist. The act of driving your car, the injury you get playing soccer, or the person calling your name while you're watching TV. And what do you feel like when you're in that state? So you, you tend to feel totally relaxed, like your body is totally relaxed. And from the outside, if your eyes are closed, you look like you're sleeping. But if you're inside the body, you know you're not sleeping. Your mind is definitely processing things, but you're so focused kind of on one thing that that's, that tends to be where your focus is and you tend to shut out other stimuli, other things that are happening around you.